Hey guys, Grunge here. Uh, it's early in the morning right now, so sorry if I don't sound 100%. I gotta go to school in like 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna narrate this in the meantime. Anyway guys, um, right now I'm going to... This is going to... Uh, <laughs> it's too early. Um, this is my playthrough of the NCR side of the Battle of Hoover Dam. Now... I plan on covering all four sides. This is the NCR side, and personally, this is my uh, preferred side because if you think about it, um, there are four sides, okay? You can go with Mr. House, you can go with uh, the Legion, you can go by yourself, or you can go with the NCR. Mr. House, um, the reason why my first playthrough I said no to choosing him is because Mr. House is one dictator, and one dictator is typically not really good for society, um, because corruption of power, all that stuff can happen. So, uh, I thought that it would be better off, hold on, I thought it would be better off if I go with the NCR and obviously the Legion, uh, the Legion is just, they're a bunch of asshole slavers, rapists, stuff like that. So, NCR, um, they're the demographic people, they don't discriminate people, they do have their flaws, but they pretty much represent the American justice system. It's demo democratic, d demograph, uh, democratic, that was it. Um, right here, I actually went, like, to the wrong place, uh, I go all the way up there and try, uh, activating the thing, but you need a science skill of 65 or higher. So, yeah. Um, as I was saying about the NCR, they're basically, demo they're democratic, and, uh, democracy, in my opinion, is the best way to go, because it satisfies the most people. Um... Yeah, alright, now, basically, I'm not gonna lie, the first run through this, I didn't have much of an idea to go, um, I went to the overflow chamber, or whatever, the overflow, overflow control, but you need a science skill of 65 or higher to activate it, so, um, if you don't have that, you don't even have a point of going through unless you want experience points and want to take out a bunch of legion people. Um, basically what you need to do after you clear the legion out of this, uh, area, just go outside of the dam, uh, and follow your way up. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm speeding through a lot of parts because this gameplay is like a total of like 40 minutes long, so I'm just showing you guys, uh, my playthrough and the ways you need to go. Uh, I pull out my right shotgun here, and this thing is pretty good. It's more powerful. If you're in a group of people, I knew I was going to be against a groups of legions. Sorry about my lisp, guys. I cannot help that. I was going to be against groups of legions, so I decided that it would be best to use this because the dinner bell or the hunting shotgun pump action not worth it. Sawed off shotgun is really only good for up close sneak attacks uh... but this thing um... for a group of people it's great because you can spray with it um... yeah my main weapons i chose you should probably arm yourself better than this but i just chose a few weapons because that's just the way i am uh... i chose the riot shotgun the anti-material rifle um... the carbine and the magnum, some frag grenades, and I think that's it. I could be wrong though. Um, yeah, the carbine really is not that good for this. I wouldn't recommend using it. Um, I just felt like using it because it was like a military weapon, but it's really not that good. Um, I t it takes against these centrions and. I don't know if I pronounce that right, Centrions, whatever, um, and the primary, the Prime Legions, and people like them, it's going to take several rounds to take them out, and I would recommend 
not using that. Um, here, I think I have a good example right about here. See, I barely take away any of their health when I'm spraying them. Even this guy, not take him down in one full clip. So I'd stick with better weapons. Uh, yeah, the riot shotgun. I've actually been using the this machine as of lately, the M1 Garand. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, but the carbine, say no to that. I check a frag up here, kaboom. But the Centrions are tough sons of bitches. I would not recommend going after this area unless A, you stock up on a lot of health, or B, you're at least level like 25. Because these guys are tough motherfuckers. Not gonna lie. Um, also, I know I say um a lot. I um, <laughs> as of lately, uh,. I've been playing GTA again. I threw that game away a while back. I mean, I sold it because I got tired of it, but I picked it up again. And I got some videos uh, saved up. I'm going to do like a few for fun videos, but I'm also going to do a few Call of Duty videos and a few Fallout videos. Try to satisfy as many of my 36 subscribers. Oh no, it's too many. Not really though. If you could sub, that would really appreciate me, but I'm not begging you to. Actually, I kind of am. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, see, the carbine is such a piece of crap. Don't use it for this. You, I'd use better weapons, honestly. The right shotgun will get the job done. Um, the service rifle probably won't. Uh, but, you know, you can carry a lot more weapons than I chose to. I don't like having, like, a full arsenal of weapons but on me. It just feels weird. But, yeah, um... If you're a heavy weapons kind of person, I think the minigun or... Uh... The LMG, those would be good for this. Um, if your heavy weapon skill is high enough. Or big guns, I'm sorry. But this thing is such a piece of crap, it's not even funny. Look, I barely took away any of his health, so I say screw it and pull out my riot shotgun and start blasting them away. This thing's pretty good. Uh, but this is Fallout combat right here. You're right in front of people and you're blasting them, and it's a matter of whose health drains first. And that's how video games began. That's Halo-style combat, sort of, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, it's similar to Halo Combat. But, if you're a realistic player, then you're going to have to get used to this kind of combat. Because people are right in front of you and you have to keep firing and draining their health. It's actually usually a lot different than this if you're up against super mutants and stuff. Because you'll probably end up retreating. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty tactical, sort of. But it's getting used to because I you get a lot of bullets. I'm level 30. I've got a high damage threshold. Well, not threshold, but um, I've got a lot of hit points. Uh, stuff like that. <sighs> right here, I was hoping to get both of them in the one that shot, but that didn't work out. These Centrions take a lot of hits to go down. Alright. Um, now, hold on, yeah, I pull out my anti-material rifle, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a PTRS or a Barrett 50 caliber, um, the scope and the way it fires overall looks more like a PTRS, but the overall outside design looks kind of like a Barrett 50 cal, um, I'll have to decide for myself which one it is, uh, but I've actually been thinking of making a sniping montage in New Vegas because I can get some pretty cool clips. I've had I have some pretty cool clips. I mean, and I know it's not multiplayer, but you know, whatever. As long as it looks cool. Oh, uh, the mysterious Magnum. Um, you get it from the lone. I, I don't remember what he's called. I think he's called like the Lone Stranger or something. Lone Wanderer or something like that. Uh. Um. You get it after doing a quest talent pool, um, and this thing is really, 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 really good. Um, the 
Magnum, it takes down these Centrions in just a few shots. Maybe, at the very most, six. Uh, it, I really like it. It's a really good gun. Uh, good pretty much for all purpose. It's got insane range. Yeah, I'd definitely pick it up. Um, I would actually be using the hunting revolver, but 45 to 70 round government rounds are so hard to find, it's not even funny. So, I just stick with the Magnum, and it's a great gun. Alright, um, okay, like I said, guys, um, I went the wrong way, or I was, like, wandering around, uh, what you need to do after you clear the Legion out is just go outside the Hoover Dam through the Visitor Center, and just go out to the dam, um, I was just, this, I had the strategy guide, but I didn't bother reading it first, I just wanted to play through. So yeah, a lot of speeding up as you see. I collect stuff and do stuff. All right, and I run into more some, some more Legion folk here, and pull out my right shotgun. And this thing is really good. I'm not gonna lie. All right, take those people out. Let's see. I think I also. Oh, guys, you know the video I uploaded a while back? Uh, well, not a while back, like last night. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded, so. Uh, but this video, um, the Fallout class in Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, I'm really tired of Call of Duty in general, but I'm, I will be doing stuff like that. Just play around. Um, I'll, like, think of a name for the series. I was actually thinking of making a series out of taking a fallout class and putting it in call of duty because i do have a few ideas um... some for uh... i've got one that i need to use for cod four world at war and black ops well maybe not black ops actually i'm not sure what i'd need in there much of this boom point blank barrel stuff i love the gore in this game <coughs> all right uh... just Guys, you really need to stock up better on Kims and stim packs and health it, stuff like that. You need to stock up on those things better than I did because I didn't really do the best job, and that's not. I could have done a lot better, so I end up actually pretty low on health. But here, I just I'm just playing around with the anti-material rifle. This thing is powerful. I love it. Uh, sniping in Fallout New Vegas is a lot different than sniping in Call of Duty. One, uh, moving targets, you'd be better off just, you have to time perfectly because there's no holding breath. Uh, also, snipers, depending on who you're shooting, some people have more health than others, so as I show you right here, um, I just hit that guy in the chest, or maybe it was the arm, but he didn't go down, so you gotta take a few shots to take down these Centrions. These guys are tough sons of bitches. And that guy actually, like, right ducked right in front of me. That was pretty funny. He ducked down to retrieve his weapon, and my bullet went right over him. Alright. Here, I collect a few items for health because I realize my health is getting drained pretty fast so do that and uh, you just go through this building right here and if your speech skill is high enough right here uh, you need at least 85 um, you can talk to this dude right here on the left and he will tell you that you're that if you need assistance they will do it um, if it's 85, you can tell them, you can request that they go with you into the fort, like, just head on. Um, there are other options, uh, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure of them. I could just pull out the strategy guide right now, but it's too early. It's 8.05, I gotta go to school in, like, 10 minutes. Alright, um, now you, alright. Uh, now there's a legion fort, or a legion camp down here, but after you take out a few people, now I realize that they just hit me from the side. I love this part. Boom, that's for the win. 
<laughs> I love how he was wearing a thong. Alright. Well, I don't love that. I thought that was pretty funny. Alright. Um. I don't really have much to talk about. Most of my commentaries aren't this long. 15 minutes so far. Uh. I, if you're still watching this video, A, you really love me, or B, you really need help on this playthrough, or C, you have nothing better to do, I don't know, but I appreciate it. I, I know I say that a lot in my videos, it's because I'm not that big, I've got 36 subscribers, and Google really can't work YouTube, so I normally, my, most of my videos end up getting just like 20 views, what I mean by that, it, well, ask a lot of he knows. Uh... Alright, I pull out my sniper here, try picking a few people off, get that guy through the sway. I don't know if I hit him. Dang, it's pretty hard here. Now I get him. Hit marker. Not a hit marker, technically. Hey, Mom. Good, how are you? Um, I'm eating at school. I won't, uh... I'm just doing this right now, and I'm ready for school, don't worry. Alright. Okay, um, I'm speeding through this part, just up here, and I just pick off this one legionary guy up the road with my sniper rifle. And then I enter the fort, um, this is gonna be like maybe a two-part video at the very most, I believe. Well, I mean, well, well, duh, it's going to be a two-part playthrough. There's going to be two parts, maybe three, but probably two. Uh, the mongrel doesn't attack me because I got the animal friend perk. That's a great perk. I'd recommend getting it. Not, I don't think you really need the second perk of it uh, because um, if you have companions, like I've got Rex and Cass, those are my two favorite followers, uh, Cass is really resourceful, plus she's pretty friendly, uh, Rex, he can commando lunge people with his bite, however, they do get knocked out quite a bit, so, look at this car mine, it's such trash, my first run through of this camp, I actually ended up dying, because I didn't really know what to expect, um, but on my second try, I think I get it. Like I said, this is my very first playthrough. I even get the achievement at the end just to prove it. Uh, all right, here I pull out. I pick up a carbine, but decide to snipe him. Kaboom! I love this gun. It's really awesome. Okay, uh, right here you need to be cautious because they will hit you from all sides. Uh, if you've got a sneak factor like I do, you'd probably be best just trying to sneak through as much as possible. But, you will need to go through a few of them. These guards are annoying. <sighs> Alright, right, shotgun. I really don't have much more to talk about, I'm not gonna lie. I've run dry for now. Um, oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, this sniper rifle is so much fun. Boom, boom, hit, point blank hit marker, that's Fallout. There's really not nothing you can blame that on. This is an RPG, not a first-person shooter. It's a completely different game. You guys say, screw it. I pull out my Magnum and blast this guy. Mysterious Magnum. I love that tune it plays when you put, get it out. Uh, if you played Fallout 3, you'll know what that is. If you had the Mysterious Stranger perk, it would play that tune whenever he appeared in Vats. Uh, and he'd use a pistol, so this is his pistol. And the guy you get it from, he says something about, like, his father's a mysterious stranger, so... Just a little Easter egg. This game has quite a few Easter eggs in it, and allusions and references. And if you're smart, you can know them. Here I actually end up dying. I'm not 100% sure what I was thinking. Uh, I don't think I was... I don't think I realized how low my health was, but... Here, that's my luck, really doesn't do well. I get one hit on him, and because he's a veteran, it doesn't take away that much, but here, I'm not 100% sure what I was thinking. I just run out. I say screw it. I, I don't know what I was thinking, I'm not gonna lie, but that's the end of part one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.